hello everyone welcome back in today's video i want to share with us some items you should never leave in your office in your car and in your shop to sleep over most of you make these mistakes and these mistakes have caused a lot of harm to most of us knowingly or unknowingly number one of it is your clothes or your jackets most of you leave your jackets, your clothes, your cardigan in your cars, in your office, in your place of work. Especially bankers, some of, some of them will leave their jacket there. The next day they will come and wear it. Yes, there are people like that and somebody can finish you with that, your clothes. What do I mean? I've seen cases of people hanging their clothes in their car till the following day. Sometimes that clothes will be there throughout the week. Our uniform officers are guilty of this. You will see them leaving their clothes in their cars because they always change in the office. Please, each time you're coming home, take your clothes to the house and when you get to your house, remove them from your car and put it in your room. Somebody can use that thing to destroy your destiny, to destroy your life. So let us be careful because the person is sure you are going to wear that clothes the next day. If there is anything the person places on it, it is going to finish you. But if somebody places something on your clothes and you do not wear it immediately, the harm will be lesser. But if somebody does a charm on your clothes and you wear it within 24 hours, it is going to get to you to the lowest, uh, to the highest minimum that you may not be able to even know what is happening to you. So stop keeping your clothes in your car, in your office, and in your shop. Many of these bosses that you see dying, their uh, servants will take over. It's through your clothes that you kept there. They know you are going to wear it tomorrow when there is cold. And they will use it to finish you up. Please let us be careful. Let us be wise. The next thing you shouldn't keep in your car, in your office, or in your shop is your shoe or your slippers whatever you wear on your leg they can use it to put an end to your life what do i mean some of you you have a shoe or a slippers you always keep in your shop you always keep in your office i am guilty of that when i was working in the bank i usually keep my, most of my shoes were in my office i always i wear flat tail or flat slippers to the office when i get to the office i change okay in as much as it's secure nobody will go there but i'm sharing the general knowledge so that most of you will not fall victim to it some of you you hear you wear your safety boots some of you because of the nature of your job your safety boot is always in your car and sometimes you give your mechanic your key your, your car key to go and repair leaving those items in your car they can decide to finish it through your mechanic. They can decide to finish it through your driver. I've seen people fall prey to this. They will pay their driver an amount that you cannot be able to pay the person. They will bring out those items and use it to eliminate you. So let us be careful, okay? As you grow old, let us grow in wisdom and spiritually. Every day we keep adding to our age. So let us not allow this evil people to waste us when it's not time for us to meet our ancestors. Another thing you shouldn't keep in your car, in your house, in your office, or in your shop is your wig. Most women are victim of this because you, you are on low cuts, so most time your wigs are in your car. When you get to the car, you wear the one you want to wear, go to that office, you want to see somebody. When you come back again, you drop it back in the car. Your hair self can equally use that to finish you. Your car washer can use that thing to finish you. Your megat can use that to finish you. So let us be wise. Let us be careful. Even for the men, your cap. Some of you keep your cap in your, in your cars, in your office, in your shop. You only wear it maybe when you want to do guy. When there is it, you remove it. So these are things that most of us do unknowingly without knowing that our enemies can use those things to finish us through people that are close to us. That is why most of you, I tell you, whenever you have uh, issues of poison, I will tell you that somebody close to you to do to you. Somebody that don't know you cannot place poison for you because the person don't know your 
going out and you're coming in. If somebody that is very close to you that can do that to you. Another thing you shouldn't leave in your car, in your office, or in your shop. It is something that you can use to eat. Most of you keep your food flask in your office. Most of you keep it in your car. When you come back, from, when you're going to work tomorrow, you just give it to that mama, that side, roadside food seller. They will add food to it without even washing it. Because the plate is clean, the person will just dish the food inside the cooler without knowing that there's something they have put inside the cooler. Please, let's all be careful where we keep those belongings. So when you are leaving your house, make sure you take those things from your car to your room. The next day, you can put it back in your car. Let it not slip over because you may forget and give somebody your key to go downstairs to bring out something from the car and the person will utilize that opportunity to put an end to your life. Many people are victims of these things I'm just, I just mentioned. Another thing you shouldn't leave in your car, in your office, or in your shop is anything you can use to clean your face. Your hanky, some of you will buy a packet of hanky and put it in your drawer. So the one you've used, you will still keep it there. Somebody can use that. I've seen people saying that they, they are looking for their hanky. I don't know who took it. Do you know what they have used that hanky? And after some time, you will see it just carelessly. You will still continue to use it. Tomorrow, you start telling me anybody that looks at you will just get angry. Yes, they have used that hanky to do a spell on your face. That is why your face will keep changing like a chameleon's face. You keep, when anybody look at you, the person will see an old man or an old woman. Sometimes they will see somebody looking very terrible, very scary. I've come in contact with somebody like that. The person came to my office. Immediately she entered. I saw an entire somebody entirely different. She came, they gave her a face of a monster. When you look at her, you'll be scared. And this has been the problem why she has not married. So, if you are a victim of all these things I mentioned, please be careful. Stop keeping those things carelessly. I see cases of people telling their houseboy or their housegirl or you know people that you feel that are close to you, go and buy hanky for me. The person will go there and stay a very long time before the person will bring. You will ignorantly use it. Instead, the grown-up ones that are evil, they can do and they don't do. Let us be careful where we keep those our personal belongings. Don't keep it where somebody can have access to it, okay? So your car is not safe, your office is not safe, and your shop is not safe to keep these items and more. There are many, but because of our time, and if you like this video, let me know. I'm going to make the part two. If I get the number of views that I'm supposed to get, I'll make the part two. Thank you for watching the video, and see you in my next one.